All right, guys, this video is over meiosis and sexual reproduction. Um, it's kind of similar to mitosis, but there are some definite um, differences. So make sure you take your C notes uh, so we can work with them in class. Meiosis is a type of cell division in which daughter cells receive only half of the number of chromosomes present in the parent cell. Daughter cell refers to the cells produced by the process of meiosis. Meiosis produces specialized sex cells called gametes. In animals, the male gamete is the sperm cell and the female gamete is the egg cell. In this diagram, the process of meiosis is illustrated. Meiosis is referred to as the reduction division because it reduces the original chromosome number by half. The end result is four daughter cells, each with only half the number of chromosomes as the parent cell. Meiosis occurs in specialized cells which start with a full set of chromosomes. A diploid, or 2N, means having pairs of chromosomes. Homologous chromosomes pair up during prophase of the first division. Homologous chromosomes are chromosomes that control the same heredity traits. They are similar in size and shape. What happens when homologous chromosomes pair up during meiosis? The process by which the homologous chromosomes pair up is called a synapse. During synapse, there's a potential for random exchange of chromosome parts or segments. This event is known as crossing over and mixes up the genes of the chromosomes, increasing genetic variation. This illustration shows how crossing over mixes up the genes on the chromosomes. What happens when chromosomes line up on the equator during meiosis? Independent assortment occurs during metaphase of the first meiotic division. The chromosomes that carry different genes align with equal probability on the same or opposite side of the equator. These chromosomes may end up in a different or same cell, which creates many different gametes for varying genetic combinations. For example, if a parent has the genotypes big A, big A, big B, little b, big C, big C, big D, little d on different chromosomes, then there are four different genotype combination possible for the gametes. Remember that at the beginning of this process, each chromosome replicates to contain two chromatids. During meiosis, the pair of chromatids meet and separate. One of the homologous chromosomes goes to each daughter cell during the first division. During the second division, the chromatids within each chromosome separate. Each daughter cell receives only one chromatid. The chromosome number has been reduced by half in each of the daughter cells. Haploid means having only one copy of each chromosome. Sexual reproduction is a form of reproduction in which a new individual is produced by the union of the nuclei of two specialized sex cells. Remember that these specialized sex cells are called gametes. Fertilization is the fusion of the nuclei of two gametes. This process restores the diploid number of chromosomes to forming by forming a zygote. A zygote is a single cell formed from fertilization. Meiosis is essential to the process of sexual reproduction. Meiosis produces gametes with half the number of chromosomes of each parent cell. Unless the chromosomes have halved first, the offspring would have double the number of chromosomes each time. One haploid gamete plus one haploid gamete equals one diploid zygote. Meiosis also increases genetic variation through the processes that were explained earlier. Independent assortment and crossing over increase genetic variation, which increases the chances of the survival of the species. This visualization shows how independent assortment during meiosis can create individuals with genotypes different from that of either parent. If both parents have a genotype, big R, little r, big Y, little y, then they can create four different gametes. Each of these four can combine with any other four from the parents, creating nine total combinations. Remember that organisms have different genes, creating almost countless possibilities of offspring. Why is sexual reproduction advantageous? As long as there are some genetic differences in the parents, the offspring produced through sexual reproduction are not identical to either parent. The individual members of a species therefore show variation in structure and function due to sexual reproduction. 
The increase in the amount of variation in the members of the species increases the possibility that some members will be better adapted. The better adapted individuals are more likely to survive environmental changes and transmit helpful variations to the offspring. Because the population can evolve, the species has a better chance of survival in the long run. This is the end of the lesson. Uh, make sure you have taken your C notes and we will do your questions in class. If you have any questions, bring them with you and we will talk about them then. Have a great evening.